What up YouTube, got another DIY project for us today. Uh, we're gonna black out the chrome grill on my Stingray. It's just a little strip, about 50 inches by two inches. Um, so I'm gonna tell you what you need to be able to do this for your Stingray. Uh, you're gonna need six items. You're gonna need one, a heat gun, two, extension cord, three. You're gonna need uh, the vinyl wrap uh, fitted to your uh, Stingray's grill. Four, you're gonna need a uh, squeegee, a vinyl wrap squeegee. Five, razor blades. Six, rubbing alcohol. And uh, that should be it. Oh, seven, seven. You're gonna need paper towels also. I've already done this before. I got this video already posted on my channel on the silver one, but we doing it to the uh, Velocity Yellow joint. So, first thing you wanna do is make sure this is clean. Your, uh, your area, which is the grill right here. I cleaned this the other day, but I'm about to go back through with rubbing alcohol just to make sure I get all the particles, all the uh, unseen specks off the car so the vinyl sticks perfectly. And then you also want to make sure it's a day where it's 60 degrees or uh, or warmer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your vinyl that's cut the length and you're going to want to peel it back just a little bit, maybe about less than an inch or about an inch. And you're going to want to apply it to the trim. So when you apply it to the trim, gonna make sure it's level and lined up with the trim perfectly how you want it covered and then you're gonna slowly apply the trim while peeling back the uh, the non usable side of the vinyl wrap and that's how you stick the adhesive on you actually want to use less heat as possible uh, or the least amount of heat as possible but if it's necessary you gotta do what you gotta do so this is what I'm talking about when I say peel it back you're gonna want to peel this part back this is the vinyl that's just gonna stick on the trim and this is the part you're throwing away. That's the adhesive part at the end. Peel back about an inch. Same time I'm applying it. This is the area that I want covered. So that's what the black strip looks like when it's on there. Uh, note that I uh, I got the uh, vinyl length cut a little bit larger or a little bit longer than the amount that's necessary just to make sure. And from here, I'm going to squeegee it down or use my fingers, whatever is necessary uh, to make sure it's applied evenly. And I'm gonna stretch it out and make sure there's no bubbles and any creases. That's, I use the squeegee for that part, for sure, so. All right, so um, this is what it looks like when it's fully on there, um, fitted to the car. I've got excess material, and the next step is just to cut that off with a razor blade. You know, it could be a household like box cutter. But a uh, tip for this is you're gonna want to cut towards the the um, edge that's away from the chrome. All right now, see, we got the bad boy all blacked out. That's what I'm talking about. Give us that Grand Sport Z06 look, that more racy performance -y look um, without having to get the grill. But I'm gonna still get the Grand Sport Z06 grill. So I just, for, for the 25 that I spent on that little vinyl, I couldn't stand that chrome. And like I said, well, I, I didn't tell you guys, I uh, meant to upload a video of me showing the DIY how to de-bag 
or and, uh, take the Stingray emblems off and your uh, dealership badges off, but for some reason my SD card corrupted. So this is the video I'm able to give y'all today. I'm uh, I'm gonna show y'all a video when I get it all buffed out and waxed. Oh, uh, also um, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Well, I'll take that back. I can't get y'all before because I didn't take a before video. <laughs> really.